Hello, my name is Krista Swanson, the lead economist for National Corn Growers Association, and this is the May's Market Minute. The USDA reported that 92% of U.S. corn was thought to be planted as of May 28th, but uh, notably that may not capture the magnitude of any unplanted acres or acres that could have been transitioned to another crop, which is a real possibility, um, especially when we think about the prevalence of drought in some parts of the corn belt. So we will look ahead to the June 30th acreage report for more clarity on corn acres planted this year. And speaking of drought, the abnormally dry area in the United States um, expanded greatly and now encompasses uh, mostly all of the U.S. Corn Belt. Um, Over the next month, the drought area is expected to develop further, uh, particularly in the Midwest. Um, The good news is, is that uh, there's about a 90% chance of of the El Nino climate phase moving into play in the next couple months. And generally that brings favorable weather to the U.S. Corn Belt. Uh, And so when we think about the uh, USDA's yield projection of what would be a record 181.5 bushels per acre, uh, you know, that that favorable weather pattern uh, would be ideal. Uh, and also, as we look back over historical yields compared to the trend yield in, in given years, when we see those exceptionally high yield years, those are El Nino years. So another thing to keep in mind. So aside from final planted acres, the timing of that transition to El Nino and, and some of these weather patterns in, in the Corn Belt are going to be important things to watch and will influence the likelihood that the U.S. can reach that yield uh, record yield projection. The Maize Market Minute is brought to you by the National Corn Growers Association. Until next time, I'm Krista Swanson.